Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezek at CM Trading. Today is June 7th, 2018, and today is Friday morning. So looking at the economic events of the day, we're starting out with a all-day event with the G7 meetings. Okay, It's the largest com countries in the world, including Japan, United States, UK, uh, France, and four other major countries, um, and that they um, participate in this uh economic uh, meeting okay so it is a kind of funny day in terms of uh, trading um, I would expect it to be a little bit lighter day in terms of trading because of that now later in the day at 2:30 South Africa time out of Canada we have employment change and unemployment rate coming out and that's gonna be at 2:30. but let's look at what the market's been doing So we're jumping here into the Euro USD, and as you can see, we had that nice rally we were talking about yesterday after we broke above the 117 level and we continued trading above it and we you know capitulated at 1841. Okay, so that's 140 pips into that move. Now I think we'll be trading within these two ranges for now, 1880 and somewhere in the 1700s. Okay, 1736 might be a good place for it to be trading. Uh, but I you know, today is going to be kind of a funny day in terms of, you know, the G7 meetings. So we may have like a little bit of a slide. You may see it drift during the day. So just take that into consideration as we do trade today. I mean, if we do break out from the 1880, you know, then you definitely have a breakout move uh, that you might want to participate in. But looking at the other USD based currencies, GBP USD really very weak here, not really bouncing as much as the euro did. If we look at the Aussie USD, we had a little bit of a correction here from 76.77 to 76.11, so about a 50 to 60 pip correction there, uh, you know, in the last uh, 12 hours. So really, you know, nothing to really write home about. I mean, it pretty much has, you know, exhausted the move up. The question is, is that is this going to correct itself or are we going to find ourselves trading in a new range and that's what you know that's a million dollar question here so you just have to play the levels and just understand you know that the extremities are there uh, we're right now in the middle of that okay if, if we look at 76 77 as the higher range and 7502 ish as the lower range you see that we're pretty much in the middle of that so you know the fact is is that you know if you we're long on this and you took some money off the table good for you um, you know getting into this short yesterday I, th I don't think that that was much of a move yet uh, you needed to see how much further it went up so you know at this stage you know again I think we're going to be trading in a range and we're going to have to see how that expires now looking at these USDs are and we missed this yesterday to tell you the truth and we should have had this on the radar uh, 1276 okay we look like we were creating ourselves a wedge formation and sure, sure enough we were and as you can see we kind of had like this resistance level of 1276 and then a continued up upside wedge formation okay which is very indicative and very um, characteristic of a breakout okay where you have higher lows higher lows and then just wedging formation with a you know a um, resistance area uh, just look just what it looks like right now it looks like an upside down right angle okay um, and sure enough we did break out from 76 up to 13 okay at these levels we can further see ourselves correcting ourselves okay now we've been you know slowly but surely making our way higher and if you look here your moving average was really your support line okay which is really an important element in terms of trading understanding that you know your support line and your moving averages was there okay and never breached it and it continued going up higher okay so looking at this today we may see it continue you know trading up forward upwards okay really the next support level now is now 1276 so you know if we do correct ourselves later today um, I don't think we're going to break the 1276 I think that that's really for now a uh, potential support level for the USDs and R now if we jump to the Swiss franc Okay, we saw earlier in the week that we did breach this moving average, and then we breached our uh, trend line. Okay, and that's a significant 
uh, redirection of the Swiss franc as it's getting stronger versus the dollar. We're trading at 98.13 right now, um, and we're just at supportish level right here. So if we do continue to break down, we can definitely see it go back down to the 96-ish level. Okay, uh, if we do hold the line, we may bounce here. Okay, and just find ourselves in a new trading range. Okay, so this is really a pivotal mo moment for the Swiss franc. You know, if it does hold the line and not breach it. Okay, it's going to trade within a new range, or if it does breach it, we'll see a further correction to the uh, to the nice rally that we had until now. Now, jumping into the Dow Jones, we made new highs yesterday above 25,000, 25,279. Okay, um, this looked like it was getting stronger, 24,240. Made higher lows, higher lows. We spoke about this broke its upper range 24670 and then continued going up okay so now you know what where's the next stop okay so ultimately we're kind of in the same situation we're in in the USD czar right we've broken resistance and now we're trying to find ourselves in, into a new range and see where we're going to how much further we're going to go up higher and if we're going to trade in a new range and i think that that's what's going to happen right here i think that there's going to be uh resistance at 24,347 ish level okay as we've had it before and if we do break out and continue breaking out we could see it further uh take it up further so now okay this is really the pivotal moment okay because if we look at some of the other the big bellwethers big stocks in the united states that are carrying the market let's take a look at apple it's just really flirting with resistance here okay not breaking out higher not selling off but not breaking out higher whereas okay if we look at facebook and we look at google it has sold off a little bit right so we were at our uh top of the range at almost breakout level 194 but we never broke out higher we traded back to 188 okay so that's really an important element to see if apple's going to push us higher okay that's really the question of the day so we we'll take a look at that as today further continues to trade now looking at the dax we had a correctional move double top here at 13,000 ish almost uh, 12,900 ish level never broke up above it and then you know retrace so is this going to bring down the dow jones perhaps okay so we're going to have to take a look at that as well this is fred razak i want to wish you guys a great trading day thank you